All right, as we're going around on the outside of the home, when you're doing a WDO inspection or even a regular home inspection, you want to be looking for evidence of insects that might be damaging your home. Again, termite inspection, WDO, wood destroying organism inspection. Uh, you want to be looking at everything around the house, not just the structure itself. One thing you want to look for, signs like this. A uh, piece of a limb that fell off, you can see how that has some termite damage to it. There's some frass in there. So by seeing that, you know that you're in an area that does have a population of termites. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you look through and figure out where in the house they are. They're somewhere, we just got to figure out where. Again, you want to look at the trees around the house. The vegetation should be cut back from around the house and not over the house. And as you look up around the house here, you'll see how there are limbs, a lot of them, hanging over the house. This is a good indication that the termites are, could be swarming from the trees, landing on the house and starting a new colony there. All right, so as you're going around the house and you're probing the wood and everything, of course you find your uh, decayed wood, so on and so forth, you are going to be on the lookout for signs of termites. Like we already found some limbs, you know they're in the area. As we came around here, we start seeing some swarmers. They actually have, caught, have gotten caught on some spider webs. So you have some wings, you have some insects, um, all caught along the door jams. Uh, so we know that termites have swarmed from nearby and are on the house. We don't know if they're inside or what damage has come from them yet. We haven't found any damage, but then again, most of the house is covered with siding, so you really can't tell what the actual uh, wood inside of the framing structure is. What we found here going along the wall is some termite damage. Right here, you can see some galleries. Uh, the wood was soft as we went probing, and uh, upon exposing that, we had some frass come out, which we can see here that has fallen on the floor. So evidence of, of termites again is the uh, frass, and those are basically their fecal pellets of drywood termites. Okay, we stumbled across some evidence of a uh, recent swarm inside the house. As we can see, as you're going through the inside of the house, termites, when they swarm, they tend to go towards the light. So, and this window, so in particular, is covered with uh, termite wings. There's a few insects here. It's on the floor. There's also some frass on the floor. Well, when you're inspecting for termites, you need to be licensed. Um, if you're not licensed, you really shouldn't be saying much about termites except for the fact that you did find some insects and there could be wood destroying organisms in the house. But I wouldn't go as far as to be calling them uh, termites or identifying uh, the fact that you did find termites. Uh, but just for basic knowledge, there are two basic groups. Termites, there's a lot of species, but divided into two basic groups, which are subterranean and drywood termites. Drywood termites is what we found here. They actually nest, live inside the wood, whereas uh, uh, subterranean termites live underground and tunnel up into the house and cause the damage. Those cause more severe damage. Uh, those are more popular over in the northern states. Down here in South Florida, drywood termites is more uh, prevalent.